Welcome back to Site Tech in a Mountain training videos. We're going to do a works manager video today on how to add the device. In my last video, I showed you how to create a project and add um, designs to it. In this one, we'll add a device such as a data collector. I've got a TSC7 here running SiteWorks. Once I'm in my account here on the left side, I'm going to go to this ribbon on the left side where it says devices. In here, we've got some others that are in here for our training stuff, but up here at the top right, I have an add button. I'm going to go ahead and hit add, and I'm going to go down on this drop down for device mo uh, model. The what you're going to put in for a TSC7, for example, would be a tablet. We're going to put tablet and then the serial number right here. We're going to go ahead and put that in. Where you find that, if you're looking for that, there's a couple different places, but the easiest one that I know of is in your data collector when you're running the program, you start up or you hit the menu button and go down to settings. And the first one underneath that in settings is system info. Right there in that list, it has the serial number, which is that DAD22 number. So we'll go ahead and put in uh, DAD, and it might already be in this list here, but we'll just type it in 22430566. <clears throat> so that's the serial number you put in. It's a tablet device name. You're going to go ahead and put in what you want it to be. I'm going to use Jeff's TSC7, TSC but right here I want to show you don't have any interesting characters in there. So I'm going to put Jeff's TSC7, and underneath this I will put a TSC7. Just to do, give me a definition of what I'm using here. Now for password, you can just do a generic password. It doesn't have to be uh, anything crazy, um, nothing special like a long one with a lot of capitals and letters. I just do three. I'll just put ABC, ABC, and if they match up, this is how we add in an actual device. But this is the most important part is the tablet, the serial number, and we'll go ahead and hit add. Give me this little heads up, make sure it matches on the machine or the data collector. Go ahead and hit OK. Um, Works Manager sometimes takes just a second here, so you just wait till it gives an actual device added. Sometimes what I do is either hit the refresh button or just go to another page here, um, tab on the left side, and then come back to it. And then now you can see at the top here we've got one device added. Okay, once it's in here, you'll see that it's got this uh, triangle right here, explanation kind of warning us that it's at least added in here, but it hasn't been claimed yet. So on the TSC7 itself, what you do now is go ahead and go into the menu again, go down to data management, and scroll up in that menu menu till you see works manager settings. In the works manager settings, you just want to match up the same information that you did there. So where it says device name and device name, make sure if you had any capitals that that matches. <clears throat> we'll put Jeff. Jeff's T S C seven organization. <clears throat> Where you find that organization name is up here on the details. So if you go to details, you'll see here that I've got a short organization of demo site tech I am. That's going to be different for each one of your companies. So I'm going to put in uh, all caps. So demo site tech I am. And then for password right here, we're going to put the same password that we had put in in Works Manager there. Don't worry about the work group. Go ahead and hit test. Make sure that the internet is connected to this. Test was successful there, so we're good to go there. We can hit accept. What it wants us to do at this point is do a synchronize. Right here where it says device not claimed, in order to claim your device, you must successfully sync your device to Trimble Connected Community. So the way you do that is hit your menu button again, go down to data to management, and scroll down. And the one right above the one we were in is works manager sync. Go ahead and hit this. Once you're in here, just go ahead and sync any project that you have loaded. Just go ahead and hit apply. Okay, once that synchronizing is done, you can go ahead and hit yes or no on this. I'm going to just say no at this point. Keep it on that same project. Now back in Works Manager here, you can either refresh the page or maybe try this rechecked.
So once the, the check is done, device was successfully claimed, the account is good to go. You can actually see on the right side right here the information that it's, um, it's claimed from it, knowing that the serial number last reported and the software version that I'm running. This green button right here means that you can actually actively log into it remotely. We'll do that in another video, but if that's green, that means that I can, from the internet, from the computer, actually remote into the data collector and see what's going on. Now that that's active here, let's go back to a project um, that I did for my last video, um, which is this Site Tech Demo 8-9-2023. I'm going to go ahead and add this device now that I've brought it in to the project. So under this project name, under Devices, I'm going to go to this Add button. Now the device has already been added to my account. All I'm doing here is just adding it to the actual project. So my TSC7. I'm going to green check that and then add that device to this project itself, which means that any pro any um, designs or anything I do in here will be actively sent to it if I if I wish it to be. Such as if I go to designs, I can go into the design that I created and down here at the bottom where it says publish to devices, it'll say all. So it will be added to my TSC7, which is now actively inside this project. So. Having said that, now we can go back to my data collector here, and I can hit the menu button, and now I can go down to data management, go back into that works manager sync, and it will retrieve the data from works manager that it knows about and devices that have been added to projects, and leave it on project at the top here and hit this drop down bar, and now I can go down until I find this project. So right here, I've got Site Tech Demo 8.9.2023 which means that it's been added in the cloud on the back end. I can go ahead and synchronize this project now to this data collector. I did not set up the XML in this project. So if you go ahead and look in here, the XML is not added. So if I hit OK here on my data collector and then go into my menu, go to Project Setup and Change Project, now I can see it in my drop down bar as a project that's been added to me. So, right here it'll warn me and say the XML file is missing. Please set up the units. No big deal. If you know what your units are, just go ahead and go through this list and make sure it's US survey feet, degrees, whatever it is, your PNEZD, which is your point northing easting elevation description. So, make sure this all matches what you know you have in your uh, works manager. Hit next, it'll go ahead and add it. So, I got the project. Now, since it's never been on this data collector, I can go ahead and create a work order. I can go do Cal or layout or whatever. And under designs, I do have that design. So if I go in here on Works Manager, you can see the Site Tech Northeast finished grade. There it is on my data collector. Boom, it shows up. Good to go. Data collector has been added to the account, added to the project, and now it shows up right there, which is my design. So. It would show up inside that if I had a background image in there. So the other thing you can do is go ahead and record points and send it back and forth in between the data collector and works manager through the uh, devices right here. If you click back on the TSC7, there's a field data right here. So the field data will actually start showing any work orders um, or control points that have been gathered in the, data, in the data collector. But we do not have that yet, so it will not show up. Plus, when you synchronize in the data collector, it'll send that back to the field. But I will do that in another video. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tech in Mountain on Works Manager adding a device and claiming it and adding it to a project. Mm -hmm.